All right, let's do this. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> nice takeoff. I did that on purpose. I'm just doing a little bit of uh, my Blue Angel routine for you guys. And if you'll buy that, I got some oceanfront property for sale here in the wasteland. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play seven days on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that is made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. However, we are hanging out right now in the one and only small green biome on the map and getting uh, geared up and prepared for uh, going into the mega city down here and looting the crap out of it. So that's what we're about if you're joining us for the first time. All right, I've got a lot of I got a lot of stuff uh, to go over and show you and do uh, in this episode. This is going to be kind of like a, a bit of a smorgasbord episode. Uh, but our main goal for today is going to be uh, we're going to jump in the ultralight and I've got a couple of treasures. Uh, so we got one uh, Where the hell's it at? Okay, we got a treasure here. And we got Sarah's treasure map and Steph. Oh, look at that. They're both uh, uh, 1.7 kilometers away. What do you know? So that's Sarah's map there. And this is um, Stefan's, Stefan's map. Okay, so that's our, our main <clears throat> uh, adventure for today. But before we get started doing that, uh, there's a bunch of things I want to show you and go over uh, with you on what's been going on. Uh, I've done a lot of work. You can see it's day 83, so uh, six in-game days have gone by since the last episode because I've just been doing a whole bunch of off-camera stuff. Uh, you'll notice, too, that I am now... Uh, I now have level 7 in Fortitude, and as soon as we get the next level, which we're very close uh, to hitting here, uh, we'll be able to take uh, Special Forces. And then that'll <clears throat> that'll give us uh, some pretty good uh, improvement, you know, in our damage that we can do with machine guns, and also allow us to make a blue quality um, M60 to replace our uh, our I can't talk our green M60. So those two things together should hopefully help us uh, significantly improve the damage that we've been doing. Uh, along those lines, you'll notice if you look at my number two slot here. I found um, in a safe out in the wasteland a purple AK, and so it was an upgrade from the blue one that I've uh, have been using, and so you know we've also upgraded that weapon, so that's good. All right, let's see a couple other things I want to show you that happened uh, off camera here in terms of skills. Um, we have read. Um, let's see, I took a, a couple of notes here. What what is it that we did? Oh, uh, we can make the shotgun tube now. I found the schematic for that. And I found the schematic for Grandpa's Learning Elixir, which is going to be cool, because I'm going to make that, and we're going to use that for uh, Horde Knight. In fact, let's take a quick look at that right now. So, Grandpa's Learning Elixir. So we can make Awesome Sauce, Moonshine, and Learning Elixir now. We need two cans of dog food for that. Do we have two cans of dog food? Do, do, do we don't. Ah, dog, gone it. Uh, no pun intended there. Okay, so we're gonna really have to start hanging on to the dog food once we, you know, when we get it. Hopefully, we'll find two cans of that before Horde Night tomorrow night, and uh, you know, be able to partake in uh, doing that. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, I've done a lot of work on the base, so let's take a look at that next. First thing you'll notice is that I now have uh, two ramps. So I built another ramp on this side, uh, just to make it easier, so that way I can just go up one side and come down the other. Uh, so we did that. And um, I finished my runway area, so I pretty much dug it all the way out, just, just about all the way to the road. Um, so we got that part taken care of too, so it's a lot easier to get in and out of here now. So that was done. And then as you can see, I've done quite a bit of work on the base itself. So let's take a look at that. So this is the living quarters, and I have glass in on both sides here, so we got a nice big picture window. Built a balcony out here, as you can see. And uh, what we're going to do, one of the things we're going to do, is we're going to do a little bit of painting uh, in this episode, and then we're going to make a, some furniture. We're going to make the uh, the king-size bed and a couple of couches and, a, and an end table lamp and kind of decorate uh, the upstairs. So that's one of the things we're going to do. And as you can see, of course, the whole thing is made out of concrete, but we're going to paint it up so it looks a little bit nicer up here. And um, I think that's about it. Oh, and, we, and uh, we're going to take a trip to uh, the trader as well. 
And in fact, let's do that first because it's getting kind of on in the day. Hold on a sec. It's getting kind of on in the day, so let's take care of that first and then we'll come back uh, and work a bit here on the base. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff um, here to sell. I've done, I think I've done two quests, two tier two, bleep, two tier three quests, maybe two, maybe it was only one, um, since the last time we did a quest. And of course, I've been out wrenching cars, um, and uh, in the process of doing all that, we've got all of this stuff. So we've got a lot of crap here. So let's go ahead and um, just pull it all into our inventory, except for I'm going to put the coin back because we're going to be getting a bunch of coin. Uh, from the trader Okay, so we'll pull all this into our inventory We should make a, a nice chunk of change off of this stuff I've had uh, one or two airdrops that have come in uh, Actually, I guess it would be two because it happens every third day and it's been six days uh, since the last episode um, Let's just pull that stack of coin too. Oh mm, I'm gonna take Oh, did I already grab it? I think I did. Yeah, I've got the awesome sauce there. I'm not going to take it unless he's got something, you know, that we actually want. That's really expensive. Uh, okay, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you, too, is I did, I've done a crap ton of mining. And so we've got, you know, we got clay, we've got a bunch of iron, we've got stone and sand. Um, and yeah, so, so just been doing a whole lot of mining. Uh, we got a decent supply of lead here, a little bit of nitrate. Uh, the mine that I'm at on a little bit of coal has pretty much all four of the ores in it, but it's a very large miner, and I've just been kind of strip mining the whole place. So I spent a lot of time doing that, and that's where a lot of my, um, levels, you know, have come from just doing all that mining. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, we can leave that shut. Let's go, uh, sell this stuff off to the trader and make some moolahs. Now the trader before he reset the last time, he actually had a full 4x4 for sale for 60,000 coin. And man, I'll tell you what, I was tempted to get that, but I decided, nah, you know, because as soon as I do that, I mean, as soon as I do that, we're going to find the, the chassis schematic, and then I'm going to be kicking myself in the butt, you know, for for not holding out. So I decided to hold out, and hopefully I don't regret it. I mean, what else are we going to spend all the money on, though? I guess that's the God. other side of that coin. I thought you might be we're going to get to a point, because we already have the gyrocopter, which is the most expensive thing in the game. You know, and we're going to get to a point where we're going to have money and not have anything to spend on it. So I don't know. I hope that wasn't a mistake. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start selling some stuff. So we're starting off with 3,800 coin and change. Let's see what we end up with after we sell all this stuff to this guy. Okay, so we made almost a full stack of coin, almost 20,000 coin off of those sales. So that's pretty good, you know, especially considering I don't even have any, any points in barter or anything like that. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look. Have He starts restarts on day 85. Yeah, I don't think I've seen his new inventory here, so let's take a look. Night Stalker. Bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. Uh, I'm going to get it just so we can, you know, hopefully eventually get all of the... Um, you know, all of the achievements. And let's see, what else does he have? Yeah. Tables cost coming now. We don't need that. Okay, let's look at the main inventory here. Just kind of peruse it really quick. We're still looking for that. Um, You know what? I need some sh shotgun part. Do I? Yeah, I think I do. I don't have quite enough to make the four shotgun turrets that I want to make for the base. SWAT helmet. That's a heavy armor helmet, but it's not quite as good as what we have. Forge crossbow. I'm also looking for um, relays because I can't make the wire relays. I don't have the uh, the stuff for that. Okay, that's all the stuff we sold them. All right, so that's pretty much it for this sales cycle. Uh, we are going to definitely buy one of those, but we're going to wait just a little bit longer uh, before we do so. I was actually going to get this and see if I could put it on my wrench. So let's buy that. Yeah, all right. That's all we got to do with the trader. Let's modify and okay. So our current block damage is 66. Adding this changes it up to 69. So that's a nice little improvement for our wrench. 
Let's head on back to the ranch. And we're going to do a little bit of decorating. That's the next thing on the on the agenda here for to this today's episode. It's kind of a cool looking base. Nice and compact. It's really nice, you know, to be able to just come up one side and then go down the other later. Uh, so that, that was definitely well worth the, the effort. So the next thing I want to do, um, by the way, I'm making a bunch of pipe bombs. And I'm making a few more grenades in here. Uh, I, if you guys re saw the, the last episode, I left quite a few grenades back at the base. So I'm not making a ton of them, but I am making a few more. So let's put this in there and that in there. We're going to read this. I'm not really planning on using bladed weapons, but who knows? Maybe we will when we get, um, when we respec into stealth. We'll see how that goes. So what I want to do upstairs is I, I, I have a, an actual, have an office chair here. I just looted that. But I want to make a bed, a uh, king-size bed uh, for upstairs. And then I also want to make the lamp table. So let's do this first. We need cloth. Oh, shit. You know what? I need 40 cotton. Oh, look at that. We've got 40 cotton. I didn't think I would have would have had that many much, but okay, good. Because uh, usually I just turn that right on into cloth. All right, so let's see. We need cotton, uh, cloth, springs, and pipes. Cloth, springs, pipes. All right, cool. So we're making our bed now. The other thing we wanted to make was. Um, an end lamp table, or end table lamp rather. So we need headlights, electric parts, duct tapes, and polymers. Headlights, electric parts, duct tape, and polymers. All right, so let's get that queued up. Wait a minute. Oh no no no, we make that in the smithy. Okay, never mind. Um, let's make it here. Did I say smithy? I meant workbench. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Ark lately. Uh, so, yeah, smithy. Workbench. Whatever. Same thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm going to I'm gonna run down to the to the horde base, too, uh, before, you know, the next horde night starts and just see how much, how many explosives we have and then decide if I need to make more. Uh, by the way, I had asked the question during the last horde night. Uh, I had talked about if the uh, frag rockets do more damage, and they do. They do 650 explosion damage with an explosion radius of 6 compared to 310 with an explosion radius of 5. Uh, for our particular design, the explosion radius doesn't really matter, uh, but this sucker does over twice the damage as a grenade. But the downside is it's very, very expensive to make. I can make them. I have the... You know, at some point I learned the scale or the schematic or whatever for it, but they're really expensive to make. So I don't know, you know, how what we're going to do about that. If you look at this, though, I mean, 25 buckshot, 15 gunpowder, 2 duct tape. This is the hardest part for me because I, you know, I don't have oil shale on this map. So gas is kind of precious. You know, I, I need to really kind of save my gas for my vehicles and for my, my power tools. So this is kind of the kicker right here. If I had access to oil shale then I would be more amenable to making a shitload of these and using them. But because I don't, uh, probably won't be using a whole lot of rockets uh, on this playthrough. We're going to mostly rely upon grenades. Kind of along those same lines, I managed to make 16 Molotov cocktails, but that takes a lot of gas. I mean, a hell of a lot of gas. Of gas. And it's just, you know, it's too precious on this map, so I probably won't be doing a whole lot of Molotovs either. All right, anyway, um, let's see. What else did we want to make? So we made the bed. We made the end table. Oh, we wanted to make a couch. So let's see. Do I want to make the big sofa? It's just me by myself, you know? So we'll just make ourselves a nice little easy chair. So we need leather, nails, and wood for that. So we got nails up here. We got leather up here. All right, so let's make ourselves a sofa, our leather sofa. And I think that's all we need for furniture. Let's put all this stuff back in here. You know, I could actually probably put the nails in there. We're going to take the office chair with us upstairs. But before we lay the furniture down, I want to do the painting. 
So I have been taking dyes and uh, scrapping them because if you guys didn't know this, when you scrap a die, you get paint. And so when I've been finding stuff with dyes in them, I just scrap them for the paint. Because I don't really, you know, I'm not really that big into the dyes. I found a paintbrush too. It's just not that big a deal to me in for the most part, you know. Um, do we have any, yeah, let's pull all any and all dyes we have off of the armor that we have up here. Uh, there's dye on that. I think that's everything that has dye on it from what I can see. And, you know, if, if I have to, of course, I can actually make the paint. The problem, well, it's not a problem, but the thing about making paint is that it takes... Oh, I guess those are just green by default. I thought that was a green dye on there. Uh, it takes chrysanthemum, and I don't have a garden yet, so I kind of don't want to use up a lot of my chrysanthemum on that. But we'll see. We might we might not have a choice because I think the it uses a lot of paint up. But we'll see. We'll see how we how we can do. You know, with what we got there. All right, let's go ahead and get started with some painting.
nice. <laughs> so we're uh, we're just sitting down having a beer, relaxing after all that work. Uh, but I think we got her painted up pretty good, <clears throat> and um, I think it came together uh, pretty good. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> so I might I might uh, change a couple things here and there, but uh, for the most part, uh, I I kind of like the way that it came together. I thought that thing looked a little better than that. Maybe not. I must be imagining things. So, yeah, pretty cool. All right, so let's see. The last thing we have on the agenda for today's episode is we're going to get in an ultralight and fly now that we're blitzed <laughs> from drinking beer. That's really smart, isn't it? Uh, we're going to go check out those, um, those treasures. So let's go ahead and get ready to go do that. Um, put this in here. Looks like we could stand to eat something. Let's have a let's go ahead and have a taco. Since we just had a beer, we might as well have some taco with it. And a yucca juice smoothie. I think we earned it. I think we earned it. All right, I'm gonna put uh, the uh, let's put the paint in here. And the sleeping bag. I don't know. Guess we'll just put that in here. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to want to wear these for the treasures, so let's put those on. And I think we're ready to rock and roll. -a. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think I think it came together pretty good. I like it. I'm not I'm not so sure that I'm convinced that I like this wood thing here particularly because you know, I guess I, I in some cases I might have turned the block the other way so it's not completely straight. But I don't know. I might change that. I'll think about it. I I like this little, you know, wood fence uh, pattern, so I might change those to that too, but we'll see. I'm going to leave it the way that it is for now, and we'll just kind of see how we're feeling about it. All right, let's go get those treasures. Uh, so we're going to grab everything out of here, and we're going to pick up the motorcycle, and then let's go on out to our runway. I don't, I'm not planning on uh, painting the lower section. We're just going to keep that concrete, at least for now. I'm, I don't know. I might change my mind later, but uh, I'm just going to leave it, leave it as concrete for now. Because, you know, you know, it's kind of more of the quote unquote bunker portion of the base, you know, at least that's kind of the way I look at it. All right. Let's put all that stuff in there. We don't really need to take the chainsaw, but that's okay. We're going to, we're just going to go get those two treasures. All right, let's see. The first treasure we're going to go after is Sarah's treasure, and that is up here. So let's mark it with this, and basically that's going to be to the northwest. Now, we got to figure out where we're going to land, though. We don't want to land in the middle of the of the boonies. So probably what we'll do is we'll probably try and land on this road, I guess, and then just take the motorcycle over, or we could probably land on this road, too. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll see if we can land on this road here. All right, let's do this. There we go. Look at that. We finally have enough runway to take off. Okay, so let's see here. You go that way. And like I said, we're going to go see if we can land on the, the road that's just a little bit to the south of the treasure. And then the other treasure is actually over by the mega city, but it's just a bit west of the mega city. Go away, buzzard. Okay, we're gonna try and drop here. This is gonna be a hard drop. Okay. Stupid buzzard. You coming after me too? Oh, somebody else is.
There we go. Okay. I think we got everybody taken care of. Nice. Couple vitamins. Oh, and we got our level. Excellent. Okay, so that means that we are now machine gun level 4 special forces. 40% more damage, 20% faster fire rate, 25% faster reload. Uh, Commando Adrenaline, each shot scored with automatic, automatic, bleep, automatic weapons gives you four stamina, and we can craft quality five blue weapons. Awesome. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and grab everything out of here, because now we're going to pick this guy up. And we're going to get back on a motorcycle. Let's see, where are we exactly? Um, actually, you know what? Let's just hoof it. We're not that far away. I was actually going to try and land more on the straight area over there, but didn't quite have the the control over it that I that I needed to have. Oh shit, that's not down in there, is it? No, it's not. Okay, Whew. that would have sucked. Would have been very complicated to get if it would have been all the way down in there. Okay, so it should be just right over here. Okay, so let's go right here. And we'll head north. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, now let's go west. One, two, three, four. Go east. One, two, right about here. This is right about where I think it's going to be. Whoops. All right, let's see what we got. This is just a normal buried treasure, so we don't have to worry about the zombies spawning in. There it is. All right, 4,393 coin, 308 cash, and a couple of other things. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll take it. Okay, so our next treasure is all the way down here. Boy, there's not a lot of options for landing down there, is there? Well, we got this road here, <clears throat> so I guess... I'll just try and, you know, uh, touch down somewhere around on that road as best as I can. And we'll see how things go. But we're going to have to go back out on this, probably this stretch here to take off. So let's go ahead and head back that way. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Hey! Cut that out. Hate those things, man. Pain in the ass. Okay, this should give us enough of a runway here. Everybody leaving us alone? All right, let's do this. Oh, you're kidding me? <laughs> nice takeoff. I did that on purpose. I'm just doing a little bit of uh, my Blue Angel routine for you guys. If you'll buy that, I got some oceanfront property for sale here in the wasteland. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'll, I'm probably just going to do a cut here, and I will bring you back uh, when we land at our next treasure spot. We'll hit that treasure, and then it'll be time for us to wrap up this episode. So I'll see you when we get over there. Oh, don't hit the tree. Dang. Okay, guys, we are coming in for a landing here. Looks like we're going to get harassed by another buzzard.
All right, that wasn't a terrible landing. Why can't I? There we go. Okay. At least we landed on the road, right? That's the main thing. Okay, so it looks like our target is just right up straight ahead here. Right here. Fido? Leave us alone. Can't you see we're treasure hunting? Okay, right about here-ish, and then right about here-ish. Close enough. Let's see what we got. Hmm. There we go. I was going to say, is this thing in the stone? Let's just make sure we have a pathway out of here in case we get jumped by a running horde. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, we got a uh, 10,000 coin. Very nice. And then uh, we got a blue thingamadoodle, but it's not as good as ours. All right, cool. So we got we made some we made about fifteen thousand coin and change uh, with these two treasures, which isn't bad. I can't complain about that at all. All right, let's see where are we? We're a little bit down south. Got to get back up that way. Um, don't have much of a runway here, do I? What we could maybe do is take off there and then just bail over the side. Yeah, let's do it that way. Just gotta make sure we don't hit <clears throat> anything that's gonna throw us cockeyed like last time. Um, let's get rid of this. And... I mean, I don't think that stuff will be in the way, but let's just not take any chances. Not quite a straight shot, is it? Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> that works. That works. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little different than what we normally do, but it was kind of cool. I, I had fun with it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, too. Well, a little something different, but uh, when we get uh, in the next episode, well, it is Horde Night, but what I might try and do is we, we, we have um, the Lodge quest, and that's kind of a fun POI, so we might actually see if we can get back and get that out of the way before the Horde Night starts. Uh, but if for whatever reason that doesn't happen, then the next episode will be Horde 84. Uh, so we'll just kind of see uh, how things play out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said, thank you for watching. Take care. And be safe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.